Hello friend, how is it going? Welcome back to Toyota Maintenance YouTube channel. You already saw on this channel this 2004 Tacoma with a four cylinder 3RZ FE engine. It's right here. We were discussing the sensor which is right here in this outlet which is a feeding signal for temperature, coolant temperature gauge in the instrument cluster. We didn't show where the thermostat housing is, so today you can see it. We are replacing the green coolant, it's already gone down there, you probably see it. And because the coolant is out, I will be replacing this sending unit, the sensor for the gauge. They say it's a coolant temperature for a gauge, but there is another coolant temperature sensor on this engine, and it's in famously very bad location and difficult to replace. Here is that little one which we saw in that water outlet or coolant outlet and this is a one pin connector one wire and this is the number for it here you can see the one which is in the very <laughs> problematic spot on this engine unfortunately and this is that ECT engine coolant temperature sensor this is the number for this one Hopefully you will see it. And this one has two pins. The electrical connector has two wires. But before I will show you where it is, let me entertain you with a good story. So the previous video, I talked about why the vehicle is here and that the owner mentioned that he thinks the engine is not running as it was in the past and maybe it has a little bit less power and I can see you guys are listening to these details and you are paying attention somebody within a day or two mysterious person youtuber or subscriber left me a voicemail didn't say his name but said Peter I saw your video and the guy is losing the power maybe that could be caused with the other coolant sensor which is on the engine and which provides ECM the computer with the info of cooling coolant temperature it happened to me the person left the voicemail it happened to me I had a 3RZFE, nobody could figure it out and after this temperature sensor, the main one, the two pin one was replaced, the car was running or truck again perfectly. So I highly recommend you, you will change that one too. So as you can see I'm listening to you. I got original from Toyota, you already know the item number. It's pretty expensive. The two pin is like 80 bucks and then one pin it's approximately 40 bucks. Little warning to you who will be doing this job and changing the sensor. It's not coming here with the washer. This is picture from factory repair manual. Do you have any clue looking at these two pictures? where it is located on the engine there's no way unless you saw some pictures of location or you saw videos or something you have no way to find this sensor and this is why there's so many sensors everywhere if you start looking with the light on this side of the engine underneath the intake there are also many sensors below the exhaust manifold and so on but that's all wrong most of them has one wire and now we know it's a two wire so you saw in that manual they say 
remove, unclip these three clips. There is one. The second one is on the back, right here on this wiring protective plastic. And the third one, it's right there. I'm not sure if you can see it, but it's right there. Yeah, right in the middle of the screen. So that gives you a little bit, little bit of play on this thing. But the coolant hoses here with the valve and everything is in your way. So for me, I will be tackling this job with removing two brackets, which I did actually already. The first one was 12 millimeter mounted on the side of the engine. That's the bolt that was in my way to stick my hand there. And there is another supporting bracket for it's a throttle body cable to the cabin. And that was held with really, really tight 14 millimeter right here. I was trying all these tools and it finally gave with this large half drive. No matter how I will wiggle this firing harness protector, because it's in the good shape. Sometimes this plastic will be all gone because it's brittle and fall apart. But this one is very clean engine. I like it. So as you can see right here, I'm creating uh, space for my hand to reach down there. See my finger? That's basically where that sensor is. And I'm sorry, that's a, I have a large lens on this Sony A7C. There's no way I can shove it down there or something. So you have to trust me. This is the location right here. This finger is touching a sensor, which still has hooked that wire. I still wasn't able to unclip it because the, the clicker is actually towards to the engine. And it's basically, there's no space. Now, if you will wear any larger gloves, you have no chance to unclip it. If you will wear rubber ones, Oh, 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 you will rip them immediately. I already got cut multiple times right here because the edge of the engine, it's super, super sharp. I really quickly grabbed fine file and cleaned that sharp, sharp edge. And now it will be way easier to reach there. That's, that's worth like one minute of filing. And look at this, while I was pulling on it, the sensor completely fell in the pieces. Look at it. That's the inside of it. This completely fell apart. This is why it was difficult to unclick right here, because it was right, it's basically in this position, it's kind of pointing up this way and as the sensor was screwed in with the gasket it basically was towards to the block so there was very impossible to put a finger and push on this tab and remove that electrical connector you saw in that factory manual they say use deep 19 millimeter, which is correct. That comes, basically it will be this way. That comes nicely over it. Here you can see exact direction of that extension with a deep 19 millimeter. How it is coming out, what is the angle if you want to undo that sensor. Let's see if I have it seated correctly. You will see very soon. It might be already coming out. Here you can hopefully nicely see. This is the part which separated because I was pulling on it too much not being able to unhook it right here so that it was inside this is basically 
the part which is in that coolant and this is electronic part the thermometer which is a reading sitting there and not being exposed the electric part is not being exposed to the coolant so this is protecting part so now you see here the thread and that was the washer such a special copper washer which you have to buy also brand new if you wanna replace this unit hopefully this video gives you many great ideas we have two coolant sensors the one it's easy peasy the one in front i will be replacing too and the other one in the back it's a kind of nightmare not not easy to get to you saw it fortunately gave up it wasn't over torqued the book says by the way on the opposite page on the other page the torque for this it's 20 newton meters so there's no sense keep filming it when you cannot see anything anyway it's down there I will hurry up because the time flies I will not hurry the, the job but I need to keep moving so the customer can have this perfectly done this evening so thank you for watching and have a great day my friend